you welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm Jamie B thanks for stopping by so in today's video I am going to be doing a mini TJ Maxx haul I was not gonna be doing a hauls for a little while but you know how that works you see stuff and you're like I need it but I wanted to share with you guys some of the awesome things that I found at TJ Maxx so if you are excited to see what I got then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it Alright guys, so this isn't a humongous haul, but the items that I did find, like it's not huge, it's just one bag. The items that I did find, I'm super excited about. They're items that I use on a regular. Some of them are my favorite items. So I was excited. Um, I'm always excited to find like cool items at TJ Maxx, but when you find like stuff that like you know you use or like are in your favorites, then it's just a completely different level of excitement. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna start off in here. I got this was one of the one things I was so excited about. So this is the classic Burt's Bees collection. There are four. This literally is the only chapstick that I use. Um, I've tried different ones, Chapsticks, Chapex, Blistex, and they just, they break my lips out really bad. I don't know if it's because of the eczema I have around my mouth or what, but this is the only one that really helps. And it's usually like 350 for one tube at the store. So this was $6.99 for four of them. And I was like yes and I got two so now I have a ton of them and I lose them like I know I'm not the only person I lose chapstick like nobody's business so the next thing I got um I mean this was seven dollars it's Chi magnified volume hairspray um it was I think like ten dollars and then clearance for seven uh, I don't really have a specific hairspray that I have a favorite of. I just know that I like to use, it is more of the higher end brands. So when I can get them for a decent price, I grab them and I'm running out of like a strong hold hairspray. Moving right along. I guess we'll stick into the hair area. I got a few things for hair. So if you guys are not new to my channel, um, I picked this up at a TJ Maxx a long time ago. I want to say maybe a year and a half to two years ago. This is the Girl with Curls Defrizz. Um, this is the deep treatment. I use this one. There's a gel that I use, a curling spray that I use, um, and I think like another curl definer that I use. So this is really exciting to try this. This is, this nourishes, detangles, and restores dry damaged curls. So this one is $4.99. They all range around that same price, but I wanted to try two new things. So I got this one. This is basically like a deep conditioning treatment. Like I said, I use the curl defining cream. I use the curl spray. And then there's a gel that I also use as well. It comes in a little tub. And then this one, is the coconut girl styling cream so this is a styling cream as well as the other one I had but this one is coconut so and it smells so good so I'm really excited to try those those are both four no that was $4.99 this one's $5.99 they all range around that price so they're really not bad and if you have curly hair like it's really amazing so the next thing that I picked up was this guy I'm so excited because Makeup Eraser had sent me, I guess, a discount code kind of thing. I'm like affiliate with them, not really. Um, I do use these, it's what I use. I got a big discount, so I bought a bunch of them. But then I went into TJ Maxx and saw this for $7.99. Now, she is beat up. Like, it's definitely been opened. It has not been used, but I always wash them first anyways. I got this for $7.99. This is $20, I believe they retail at Sephora. So I was like, please, thank you. Like it was all mushed up in the bottom of a bin. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm really excited to get one of these. Um, they last a really long time, so I probably won't be opening and using this one for a while. But I had to get it, even though I have a million of them, because $7.99 is amazing for that. Um, that's what I'm saying. Like this has probably been one of the best... TJ Maxx hauls I've ever done in like personally for myself because I find like a bunch of things that are like really cool or I want to try but this time I found like a ton of crap that I use like a ton of stuff um and some of my favorite things so I'm really excited about this one um also I have lately been playing games I started playing Among Us um, with a couple of my family members and friends and then it kind of snowballed into now I'm playing WoW and I'm playing Smite and I'm like streaming so I've actually I don't know I really enjoy it um I've never been a big video game person 
Um, I just, I always told myself, like, I don't have the time to play video games, whatever. Um, and my husband loves it, and a lot of my family members play video games all the time, but I just never was that type of person to play video games, and I don't know, I kind of feel like having that hour or two hours just to myself, kind of put my headset on and play, and it just kind of, like, relaxes me, especially with all the chaos going on. We just finally got a schedule for the kids with school, with virtual learning, and I'm teleworking, and now my husband has a new job, so he will be leaving, and I will be here <laughs> virtually learning and teleworking and dealing with the baby all by myself, so my anxiety has gone from, like, finally down to, okay, back to, like, ah. so, <laughs> I don't know, I kind of find, like, relaxing in it, and, uh, I don't know, I just have a lot of fun, and I decided, you know what? I think I'm gonna make YouTube so I made a YouTube channel I just added it to this one um, I'll link it down below I don't have any videos up but check it out when I do but I did do a test stream on YouTube from Among Us I think it was last weekend and Ray is a subscriber here wonderful person she's been here for a long time she thought I was hacked because <laughs> it wasn't beauty related and I was like no I promise it's just me I'm just testing something so I was testing my twitch stream to make sure that um, or my stream code to make sure that everything worked on my MacBook and it does so I'm excited to start that new venture kind of like stretch out have fun I love making content for you guys don't get that wrong I love beauty related stuff I just found this like newfound thing that I don't really know what I want to call it I don't know if I want to call it a hobby yet because I've only been doing it for like a week but it's definitely something that I'm, I'm starting to have a lot of fun with and I feel like I can kind of just get away and relax with it so and I've never looked at it that way so just peep that just throwing that in there but moving right along so the next two things are the same item but I got two because I'm a psycho and that's just the way that it is. It is the Milk Makeup Translucent Light Setting Powder. I have two of them. I also have this one that I'm currently using. I got it from Sephora, I want to say the beginning of this year. Um, it's the Blur and Set setting powder and it literally is my absolute favorite setting powder like hands down there is none better I have so many I have Charlotte Tilbury it's good I have Huda it's good I have Laura Mercier Hourglass they're all fantastic I love them but this one is literally my favorite setting powder I don't feel cakey and dry because I do have really dry skin so I don't feel like it makes my skin feel crusty or cakey and it's just so nice and it smells good and it's so good these are originally $29 I got them for $9.99 so as soon as I saw it I was like yes two please um, I actually went back to get more because that's just how crazy I am um, they didn't have any more so <laughs> uh, that sucked but moving right along so with that being the case I also picked this up this is the Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder in translucent um, again I've never used their powder however I didn't realize that it was like white <laughs> like super white I was hoping it was gonna be like a little bit beige or something but I'm hoping I know translucent it's supposed to be white I'm hoping that it doesn't have a white cast um, if you guys have used this before then go ahead and comment down below and let me know so I believe that this is originally $38 so I got it for $12.99 that's not bad um, I love setting powders I love to try new ones if I don't use it or I don't like it I do give it to friends or family but I'm always looking for new like setting powders because with me having dry skin, I just really can't just do whatever setting powder. For a long time, I tried that uh, airbrush or spin brush or whatever. It was like $5 you got from Walmart and I wanted to love it and I was like, yeah, it looks really good. But then throughout the day, it just really made my skin irritated and dry. So um, I don't use just anything when it comes to that. So the next thing I have is the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. I think that it was 100% perfect that I ran into this because mine is almost empty. I also bought this about six months ago around the same time I bought the setting powder for Milk Makeup. I don't, I've never really used a lot of their stuff up until recently and I actually really enjoy this foundation. It is matte and I know like I stay away from matte but it's not like a matte foundation in the sense of like 
Fenty matte, okay? So it's not like super drying and only really works for oily skin. This actually feels really nice. It's super full coverage for me and I don't feel like it cakes or does like crusties around my like dry spots or kind of flakes off and it lasts throughout the day. So I bought it and I did get it for $11.99, which is amazing because this foundation is usually $40. All right, so the next two things or the next thing I have, I'll go into skincare in a minute. The next thing I have is the um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid um, Foundation. This is in NC37. I've literally not used the MAC foundation in a long time. I want to say two years ago maybe. 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 So I saw it and I haven't used a MAC foundation in forever. Oh, smells like foundation. Smells like MAC. Um, and like I said, I just haven't used anything MAC related in a long time. So I was really excited to get it for that price. So it is usually like $33 on the website. Um, so $15 is not really, I don't feel like I got the biggest deal. But like I said, I haven't used it in a long time. If you guys are still using this foundation, let me know. Um, I remember that I liked it, but I don't remember why I got rid of it. I think it might have been the wrong shade. So I got a lighter shade and I'm excited to try it. So the next thing, the last two things I have are skincare related. Okay, so the next product is a skincare product. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is Calming Hydration for Sensitive Skin. Um, I've never really seen it in a tube like this. I've only ever seen it in like a container. So I looked online and I know the Ultra Facial Cream is like $55 in the tub. So I don't really know what the actual price range for this one would be. I do know this is a very expensive brand. Um, I know that everything I've ever bought from them is super expensive. So, but I've been trying to do a lot of different skincare products moisturizer wise um, because like I said, I'm having severe dry skin on my face, on my body. Like it's just, I don't know what's happening this year, but it's 10 times worse. So this was $14.99 and I thought I would give it a try. It's for sensitive skin. Kiehl's does make usually pretty good products although very expensive so I was excited to try that one but not as excited as everything else but you know it's skincare so <laughs> um and the last thing I got was this Aveeno baby eczema therapy um I know it's for babies but I just figured that I was going to start using it and basically putting it like on my hands and stuff it is a nighttime balm um and it's just supposed to help with eczema overnight obviously not fix it overnight but like keep it from drying and getting itchy like a lot of the times throughout the night I will get so itchy and dry on my hands that I will dig them and dig them and dig them and I can't sleep because I'm just scratching and scratching and scratching so I wanted to try to find something that would kind of help me out and this was $5.99 I don't think this is very expensive anyways because it's a vino um, and I'm sure I can pick that up anywhere, but I saw it. It was pretty cheap, so I figured I would grab it. So that is the last product of my haul, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this mini haul. I really don't feel like I got a lot of things this go around, but I definitely got a lot of things that I love and I know that I'll use. The hair stuff, hairspray, my Burt's Bees was my favorite, and the milk makeup setting powder was my favorite. The only thing I'm kind of iffy of is the setting powder from ABH because I've never tried it, but everything else is kind of like things I've used before and I'm super Super excited to have gotten them and gotten them for so little so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up I want you to comment down below and let me know what is the most recent awesome product that you've gotten from either TJ Maxx Marshalls Ross any of those discount stores comment below and let me know this is the first time that I've gotten a haul where I'm like super excited because everything in it I love and I got it as a like discount so and don't forget I am starting my new YouTube channel the link will be down below if you love games then you can go ahead and follow me if you don't love games and you just love me then you can go ahead and subscribe and follow me but as always guys I love you have a fantastic rest of your week bye